Hi people, hope you're well. Uh, just a quick one on post-workout nutrition, a, a bit of a information slash tip why I'm cooking my omelette. <laughs> uh, so what I want to share with you uh, is what you should be eating ideally after training or um, uh, an intense training session or even <clears throat> as, as a, a meal um, post-workout. Now, a lot of people often go on about having protein shakes and I think they're great and I think they do help build uh, rep repay your muscle um, but I don't think they're necessary uh, if I'm quite honest. Um, I I've experimented with them quite a lot myself over a lot of years and to be honest I've not noticed any gain, uh, any loss by not having them in my, my diet. Um, <clears throat> like post workout, because often people talk about having them straight within the uh, hour period post workout. Now, my opinion is you don't you don't need them. Um, I mean, you can always consume things like branch chain amino acids uh, during a workout too, or or or, or pre um, is an option. But my personal opinion is. You don't need a protein shake post workout. However, if you feel that you you want something liquid just to get in you straight after workout, then yeah, put it in by all means. Uh, just make sure you're not bloating off of it, because I think often uh, people bloat and they don't realise, especially off of whey protein anyway. Um, but yeah, my opinion is you don't need them. Um, if you've got like five or six stone in weight to lose, or even three or four stone, you don't, you really don't need them, um, is my opinion, uh, just that, they, they come in handy if somebody's out on the road a lot, like a few of my clients are, it comes in handy for when they're out on the road, if they've not prepared all their meals, they can just quickly chuck in a scoop of powder into their protein shaker, uh, and use it as a means of getting some, means of getting some extra calories in, but um, other than that, I don't think they're necessary, to be honest.